team with Morton Anderson. Um, when did that happen? How did that correspondence go? And, and how has it helped you? Um, so it was uh, over summer break. Um, I went back home to Montreal for uh, the, the break we had, which was about a week and a half. And uh, spoke to Coach Moore on the phone. And you know, he let me know that he contacted uh, Morton Anderson. So that's. Um, it's it it says something about a coach, you know, who's still who's coached a Hall of Famer, who's coached many Hall of Famers, and you know, um, brings them back um, to help you know his, his players over here. So you know, I'm very very uh, thankful and grateful for uh, for Coach for doing that. So did you talk to him on the phone, or how did it? Morton? Yeah. Yeah. No, I've spoken to him uh, a couple times on the phone. Um, and uh, we, we we're trying to get him out here for a couple of days, but I mean, can't complain with uh, we talk to him on the phone. So. What was his biggest uh, advice? Or? Um, I mean, we um, I asked him. You know, I started off with more more general questions about you know how his approach to the game evolved over the years um, from you know coming from Denmark as a as a high school transfer. Um, he was planning to go back to Denmark after a couple months, then ended up staying out um, out over there, and then went to Michigan State. So you know, asked him about how his uh, how his mentality, how his approach to the to his craft evolved over the years. You know, which things he did differently, and then then we went more into um, you know technical stuff, uh, more as like his, his pregame routines, and you know. How he visualizes his, his kicks and all that type of stuff. So. Is there anything you've incorporated into oh, what yeah, you do? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've incorporated a couple things into it, and I've seen the you know the, the payoff so far. So I think our, our unit is doing very well this so far this time. You've been very consistent, it seems. Have you noticed that? Do you have a new confidence? What do you kind of attribute um, that to? I think um, I think the experience that that we gained. Um, you know Johnny and, and the whole the whole line and, and Flintoff from last season. I think it's helped us, um, you know, develop that sort of chemistry. So I feel like um, you know our our unit is a lot more fluid this year, and you know they're making my job very easy. You know the the, the front line is is protecting very well. Johnny's snapping them back. You know he's he's one of the top long snappers in the country. So and and Flintoff he he puts them down perfectly all the time, so that makes my job super easy. Is there also an increased comfort level just being the second time through everything? Yeah, no, I would I would say so. I think, you know, when going through last season, you see, it, you know, the more you step on the field, the more familiar you get with it. So I feel like, you know, being out on the field um, this, this second time come around, coming around um, it's definitely helped me a lot, you know, just stay, stay relaxed and and more at ease and, you know, enjoying it a lot more. Mm-hmm. Is Flintoff a little underappreciated as a holder, would you say? Oh, I would I would definitely say so. I mean, you know, being a holder is so tough because the angles change every time. So, you know, if we're on the left hash, he has to shift his body and, and there's a certain tilt I like. I'm very picky with it. So um, he, he's doing a phenomenal job, you know, getting it down every time. So he's got your tilt down? Oh yeah, he's got it. He's got it down on lock. <laughs> how, how would you kind of, looking back at your freshman year, how would you kind of assess it? I mean, obviously you, you, you came in as mm-hmm. the guy, then kind of the competition kind of got opened up, mm-hmm. and you finished the year as the guy. How do you kind of look back at, at how it went and how it helped you? Um, I think it, it helped me, you know, hit a, uh, almost like a reset, a reset button. Mm-hmm. You know, it let me uh, kind of had a conversation with myself and, kind of realized what was important in my life and I realized that you know for football first mentality is what I really like I really wanted and you know I felt a, felt a great responsibility for the guys on the team you know especially on kickoffs and, and, and scoring points on field goals I felt that responsibility to, and I owed it to them you know they're they're out there on the field putting their their blood sweat and tears and you know it's 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 the worst feeling having to Come off the field, uh, come off the field, you know, not having any points and you know seeing the disappointment on their faces. But that pretty much motivated me this off season, you know, to really put in um, that extra work and you know plan out my schedule to um, 
to give myself the best chance and, and our unit the best chance of, of, uh, of succeeding on the field and uh, you know putting our team in a position to win. Would you rather have Andrew here to be able to compete? Oh, I, I, Andrew, I'm telling you, Andrew has all the capabilities to play on a Saturday. He wishes he was here. You know, I wish he was here. Um, I think competitions are great. You see it in pros, you see it in college all the time. Um, unfortunately, it's a, um, a coach's decision based on the numbers we're allowed to bring. But I mean, he's heartbroken that he couldn't be here. And, you know, I, I wouldn't wish, I wouldn't want to wish anything more. I have to. I want him to be here, that's no man. So you know. circling back to Morton just for one second, what, what specifically would you say that you've incorporated from, from him? Um, I'd say um, some of his, uh, his pre-shot keys, his pre-take keys that help me uh, you know, just focus more on the process rather than um, having, all these, uh, having all these thoughts you know, outside of the kick, so it's more focused on, you know, the process of, of the kick and um, going through my steps and, you know, just focusing on that. So I think that's helped me just kind of zone in a bit more and dial in.